Today, I'm gonna to show you how to draw circles. Circles like this, and circles like this. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to freehand draw a circle. What you're gonna need is either a pencil, a Sharpie, a brush. What I'm using is my, my trusty Pintel watercolor brush. I use this pretty much for a, a lot of stuff. So we're gonna grab a piece of paper, grab a piece of paper, and then just a pencil, pen, marker, brush, anything you want. If you don't have that, pause this video, I'll wait for you. Uh, go grab something, paper, paper to brush, and then we're gonna have, we're gonna be doing this together. Okay, now that you're back with your paper and brush, well, I'm gonna show you how to draw a perfect circle. Freehand, it's gonna be fun. So, let's take a look. So this is a uh, Pinto watercolor brush pen that I use. And what I'll do is I'll get a bottle of ink, and then I'll dip, dip the uh, Pinto brush, watercolor brush pen in here. And then I'm gonna demonstrate how I would freehand uh, draw a circle or ink a circle with, with ink. Okay, so when I'm doing freehand, I'll either use this knuckle, this knuckle, or the palm of my wrist. And then with my left hand, I'll hold this and lock my hand in place. This way, when you're pivoting, uh, your the paper in the center doesn't move, and then you can draw a pretty much a perfect circle. So right over here. I'll put my knuckle here, and then the closer you have this towards your knuckle, the smaller the circle will be. The further out you have it, the bigger the circle will be. So let me demonstrate this. So I'll, with my left hand, I'm gonna spin the paper. With my right hand, I'm gonna lock this in place. So I'll put this right here, and then roughly, I'm gonna take it this size. Just like that, and now continue on. And then when it closes up, it should reach the same place. And just like that, we have the perfect circle like that, uh, all freehand, well, with inking with a brush. So give that a try. Uh, it's gonna take a few times to practice. Uh, so just be sure you use your left hand to hold the paper, spin it with the left hand, and then with your right hand, you lock yourself in place and just spin it. You can, you can spin it as much as you want like that. Uh, just practice spinning. So there you have, that's how you make the uh, circle with the brush pen. Now that you learned how to draw a circle freehand, I'm gonna show you how to find the center of the circle. Now to find the center of the circle, you're probably in a geometry class or you're doing an art project. It's gonna come a time when you're gonna say, how do I find the center of the circle? So with that, you're gonna need a ruler and then you're gonna need triangle rulers. Triangle rulers like this or something like this or what I use is this. Now, you're gonna ask me, why do I have pennies underneath this ruler? Now, the reason I have pennies is so this raises up the ruler. I'll stick pennies here, or you can even either glue it here. So when you're inking, say you're inking here, when you draw that line, the ink won't seep underneath. And when, it, when your ink does seep underneath without the ruler being beveled, when you move the ruler away, it'll drag the ink. That is why I have pennies underneath uh, my rulers. So you're gonna need a triangular ruler. You're gonna need this. If you don't have a triangular ruler, you can use a, a book, for example, like here, here's one of the books I work on, uh, Black Panther. So this, this book, or any book, you can use that like a triangle ruler, as long as you have a 45 degree angle, just like that. So I was gonna take this, put this here, you're gonna have that 45 degree angle. You don't, you're not gonna do, be using this as a measurement, you just want that 45 degree angle. So without further ado, let's start uh, finding the center of the circle with these items. All right, now say you're working on a project and then you know, you're looking for something to draw circles. If you go around the house and you find a, a regular pot lid, so put the pot lid here and then you would take a pencil, in this case, I'm gonna use a, a light blue Sharpie and then you would draw the circle. Just like this. This way you get a round circle without using a, a compass or a template. So right here, I just draw a few more lines like this. And then you, you have the circle. Now, uh, you're probably in geometry class or if you're inking or doing some kind of project and you have to find the center of the circle. How do you find the center of this circle? So right here, we're gonna start looking for the center of the circle. So to find the center of the circle, uh, you will take the ruler and you can draw a line from anywhere on the circle. So I'm gonna draw a line maybe uh, from here to here. Just draw a line with a black sharpie, just like that, okay? And then from there, I would find the middle point of the line. So from here to here, six inches, six inches divided by two, I would get three inches. So just like that. So there's three inches. So that's from the center, 
I would take a straight uh, straight edge that has a 45 degree line and then from that 45 degree I would put this line right here and then I would draw uh, a line right towards here that line okay you can go all the way up or whatever so you have one line that goes across the middle and then I would take like another point say from here until this do is six inches so again you can you can go you can measure it like this or whatever but I chose six inches because doing the math divided dividing six inches by two is three so you can do uh, eight inches and then divide it in the middle you can do seven inch and divide it by in the middle so right over here let's do uh, seven inches from this corner to this corner and then I'll draw a line right over here and it says it's seven inches, seven inches divided by half is three and a half inches. So three and a half inches is right over here, measuring here. And then I would take the 45 degree angle, align it with this, like so. And then I would draw that line. So wherever this intersects, that is the center of the circle. Now, now knowing that's the center of the circle, I would take my compass, my trusty geometry compass that I got from uh, high school. This compass is falling apart. Uh, I'll add links below where you can uh, order uh, these compass. And then I'll add the, uh, the Sharpie. The good thing about this compass is you can put uh, any size, a pencil, any thickness in here. And then right over here, I'll tighten this up and then I'll start drawing. I'll measure from the center here where it intersects and this should have that circle all the way around. So right over here, the, circles, the center is right here. And I move this here. Now I'll test it first to make sure it reaches all four corners. And then that's where you find the center circle. I would just hold here and I'll slowly pivot. Just like that. See? So if you're inking and you want to find the center of the circle, you can do it this way. Draw a line in the middle and then draw a line on one side of the circle divide it in half and, and uh, have a uh, 45 degree angle draw a line and then draw another line elsewhere and then have that cut in half and then draw a line. Because if you can see here, now if I was gonna draw a line, here, let's, let's take this uh, a step further. So from here to eight inches, we'll do eight inches uh, like this. So from here to here, eight inches is this much. Eight inches is this much. So from here to here, eight inches. And now I'll take a ruler you see, half of eight inches is four inches. From here to here, four inches is right over here. When I take a 90 degree angle, measure that here, you notice that it's gonna cut right, right in the middle, okay? You can do this with any kind of uh, ruler, any measurements. So let's just say we're gonna do another one here. Let's do four inches. Four inches from here to here. Let's draw a line from here to here is four inches. See that? So the four, four inches divided by two is two inches. Just like that. And if I was gonna put this uh, 90 degree angle from on this line, parallel to this line, hitting towards the center, notice that is going to hit the center. That is how you find the center of the circle. Great, so that's how you find the center of the circle. Now the other method I'm gonna show you is to draw with tangents. Using tangents, you can also find a circle. So with a circle, you would draw, draw a straight line that connects right over here along the circle. And then using a 45 degree triangle, put that triangle right where it touches the edge of this circle. And that's how you find the center of the circle. So let's go over that right now. A Orion commission piece that I was working on. What I'm doing is I'm taking a ruler and I'm drawing straight lines that's connecting right on the edge of the circle. Now, if you notice, I'm drawing the lines where there's a black area. This way, I don't have to erase the lines later, choosing where, where all the black areas are on the blue line printout. Right over here, just picking the black area. And then I'll take, it in, take in the uh, triangle, and right on the triangle, I'll look for the, the, it's the circle where it just touches that straight line, and I'll mark the center. Right over here, ruler's right there, right? Make sure that uh, your ruler's parallel, and then right where it touches this side of the circle, I'll make a mark on the center of the circle. Now, I just made two marks, but I'm gonna make more just to make sure that is accurate. Because sometimes two lines aren't as accurate. So I would uh, use a few of the lines that I drew and try to draw uh, perpendicular lines connecting to the center. Now, once I found the center, I'll mark the center right there. 
Okay, well, after I found a center, I'll take my compass, put it together. This one's uh, this compass. And then I'll put the needle on where I marked. And then right here, as I'm spinning the paper, I'm testing it to make sure that uh, the ink part of my paper reaches the circle. And once I find that it reaches, then I'll slowly put the repeater graph onto the paper. And just like the first lesson in this video, where I'm using my left hand to pivot the paper and my right hand is keeping steady, I'm just turning the paper with my left hand, just slowly inking it. This way, there's less chance of you making the mistake. After I ink it once, I will go back and ink it again. Sometimes when you're inking with a repeatograph pin, that line will crack up. So you will go, I will go back uh, twice and make sure there's any cracked lines uh, to be inked over and it'll be more smoother. And just like that. And then right here after that, I'll quickly put away the uh, compass and the repeatograph pin. And then I'll grab a eraser because I need to erase the center part of the pencil area. Right over there, just erase that. And there you have it, just like that. And there you have it, that's how I draw circles and that's how I find the center of the circles. There's gonna come a time in your life that you're gonna say, how do I find the center of the circle? Especially if you're doing art or if you're in geometry class or some kind of art class. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, smash that like button, check out my Patreon page, go over there. I have some other cool stuff that you don't see in any of my other social media. Until next time, thanks for watching this video.